When you open the app, you will see the main page. This is where you can see your added cameras. Tap on the settings icon on the left to bring up the settings menu. Here you will see several options. Add camera. This allows you to add a new camera to the account. It is the same as when you tap on the plus icon on the main page. It has three options to add a camera. Scan a QR code, search in LAN, or add manually. Album. Here you can see the pictures and videos for each camera that you have manually recorded via the Foscam app. Messages. Here you will see messages sent by Foscam, such as a cloud service promotion. Cloud service. Here you can view an introduction of the Foscam cloud service and purchase a cloud subscription. My plan. This page shows you the cloud service plans linked with your account. You can view by unpaid, paid, and closed plans. Support. Here you can view online FAQs and support contact information. Just tap on the phone number to call our support team, or you can choose to email FOSCAM support. App Settings. This is where you can find options for managing your app. To limit data usage, you can choose Wi-Fi only for video streaming. If you would like to use mobile data to view your video stream, turn this option off. If you have chosen to receive notifications when you receive an alarm alert, you can choose which cameras are allowed to send you push messages. You can give us a rating in the App Store or Google Play Store. Here, you can also update your app. Choose Sign Out to sign out of the Foscam app. Tap the play icon to view the camera's video stream. On the live video page, you can control the camera directly. Turn on audio to hear the camera sound. Select HD to adjust the resolution. You can choose SD, HD or FHD. PTZ can be used to adjust your camera angle, zoom in, and zoom out. Press the camera icon to manually snap a picture and save a snapshot to your phone. Tap and hold the mic icon to transmit audio to your camera. The first time you do this, you will need to allow the app to use the microphone of your smartphone. Tap record to manually record video and save it to your phone. Tap record again to stop the recording. Tap the three dots to bring up more options. Tap the sun and moon icon to bring up the IR controls. You can manually choose day or night mode to turn the IR lights on or off. You can also choose auto mode or schedule mode. Tap the person in the frame icon to show the motion detection controls. Here, you can easily turn on or off sound and motion detection. Tap the mirror icon to flip or mirror the image as needed. Tap the settings icon on the top of this page. You can see all menus of the camera. In my plan, you can see all cloud service plans associated with the selected camera, including paid, unpaid, and closed accounts. In camera info, you can rename the camera, view the model number, UID, Mac ID, and current firmware version. In firmware upgrade, you can check to be sure you are using the latest firmware version or update your camera. In network, you can set the Wi-Fi network you would like the camera to connect to. You can press camera speaker volume and use the slider to adjust the camera speaker volume. Please note that only a few models support this feature. Under alarm settings, you can turn motion and audio alarms on and off, set the sensitivity, set the trigger intervals, 
and set an alarm schedule for when you would like the alarm to be triggered. Video settings allow you to turn the camera time overlay and the camera name overlay on and off. Network auto adaptability allows the camera to adjust the video resolution according to the network status and strength. You can change the username and password of the camera under security settings. You can also press sync time to sync the camera time to your smartphone time if the camera time is incorrect. In IR LED schedule, you can schedule the IR lights to automatically turn on and off at a certain time. Under prompt settings, you can turn status LED on the camera on or off, and you can turn the voice prompt feature on or off. Please note that only a few models support this feature. Finally, you can delete your camera from the app. Another way to delete the camera is to slide the camera to the left on the main page.